Well, hello world. This is Carpo, and I want to tell you guys that you can make awesome smoothies, and they don't have to taste like shit. So, I've been making these smoothies for a while now. I started last year at New Year's, and I've been pretty consistent about them. I have one every day, and um, a lot of people wouldn't really call it a smoothie as much, because uh, people hear smoothie, they think you're throwing a bunch of fruits and vegetables in there, and you're mashing it all up, and it has to taste like crap. And, and uh, the truth is, it's a really simple process to make delicious smoothies. And I kind of want to do a quick, uh, I guess I could do a quick, well, I can critique some of these products that have been, that they have out there. Now this one's called the Garden of Life Perfect Food. And um, I have it, two different types. This perfect food, this is the detox and al alkalizer. And the other one is just regular raw green food. Now, this is the base for my smoothies. Having vegetables is great, but I can't always have vegetables around. This is for folks who, you know, are like me, who just don't have all this stuff and maybe don't like certain vegetables or whatnot. I, I have a, a very simple process. I have one ice cube tray, okay? I have a blender right here. I fill this blender up with about two-thirds of that ice cube tray worth of ice, okay? I and mean, that's just an estimate, because everybody's going to have different ice sizes. But your average size ice cube, about two-thirds of a tray. Put it in there, right? Then fill it up about a half an inch from the bottom of the ice with apple juice. Now, apple juice is the ultimate base for it, because it just tastes better, in my opinion. You can try orange juice. It's a little tangy. You can try grape juice, but it gets really frothy and foamy. And for the basic smoothie, the only fruits that I really put in them are the apple or an apple juice, maybe it may be apple if I choose, but usually it's just apple juice and then once that blends up and, and, and uh, I throw a banana in there and mix the banana in. So then I just have my banana apple smoothie, right? That's when I add the, the good stuff and I, I add one of these various products. Now this one, the one thing I did not want to, to ugh, I made a huge mistake when I bought this one. I bought this Perfect Food stuff, and it's the chocolate flavor. Now, unless you make, like, yogurt smoothies and stuff like that, I'm sure it might taste really good, but if you make fruit smoothies, don't buy the chocolate stuff. Yuck. No good. Okay? This stuff, the alkalizer and detoxifier, this is phenomenal, because it also has fennel seed, dandelion root, radish, yellow dock, burdock, turmeric, and red clover, and all those are supposed to help with detoxing. The key is if you're going to take detox, you want to be able to take it in a way that you're drinking enough water to actually remove the toxins from your body. Now, I have a lot of people tell me I don't eat enough food because I'll see them sit down and they'll eat a big ass burger and eat a huge meal. It's not for me. I, I'm a light eater and I feel energized most of the time. So that's because I only if I notice them, that I'm getting kind of grumpy or whatnot, you can drink one of these and instantly be back on the top. I noticed when I was really sick when I was younger and I had the flu for a week, I couldn't eat anything. And I had my mom bring me home an Odwalla superfood. That was back when they first came out. I was so shocked with the feeling that I got from it. Alkalizing, out the alkalizer part to alkal, you know, make your body more alkaline, which is debatable. People have uh, arguments about whether cancer flourishes in an acidic body. I don't know, but I just know that it's supposed to be good for you. <laughs> so here's my third one that I tried, okay? This one's called Green Fusion. It's supposed to have 30 billion probiotic cells. It's by Green Foods. It's a, it's just your average green food. I, I I don't really have anything spectacular, anything to say about the flavor other than it just tastes like anything else. The alkalizer and this one in particular tend to taste more like broccoli. So when you smell them, prepare to open it up and it's going to smell like a V8, you know. I don't mix mine with tomato juice or whatnot. The last one I'd like to show is, because I buy a lot of these in, you know, different types, is the Greens Wild Berry Burst. This one is excellent. It's still green like all the rest of them, but it has a, uh, uh, let's see, what does it have? A whole bunch of different, uh, I mean, these things have everything. Brown rice, royal jelly, I mean, the lists are just huge, but they also have lots of um, uh, berry flavor in it. So you can add that and mix that with your banana, apple, whatever. And I think that that's the best flavor. 
The detox may not taste as good, and a lot of people don't like it, but I like it because I'm detoxing. So, on top of that, maca magic, baby. Maca root. And this stuff is my favorite. It's a, it just it has the consistency of kind of a flour. They use it in Peru for baking, kind of in place of flour. It's, it's uh, has all kinds of phytonutrients, 60 different phytonutrients that are supposed to help with fatigue and, and mood. And I think that a basic diet of one of these smoothies a day for everybody could really change your life if you don't get enough of your greens, don't get enough vegetables, because they talk about raw foods all the time, and everybody says, we need to eat better, we need to be, eat better. And if you're anything like me, you go on these little sp splurges where you, you're really into raw foods, and then you just kind of slip up, you kind of slip up. So there's nothing wrong with slipping up as long as you're supplementing it with the proper food. So give it a shot. And if, uh, uh, if anybody, you know, I, I hope that, I mean, those are just four brands out of dozens and dozens, if not hundreds, and I can only, you know, tell you what I've found. So, uh, but that, the taste of those smoothies, when you blend it to just the right consistency, I put it in one of those, uh, one of these cups, you know, just one of these, like, double insulated cups with a straw. It's just green muck. You want to drink it while it's icy, because I don't really like it when it's uh, <laughs> melted. But anyway, I hope that's uh, informative to someone, because the products they have on the market today are phenomenal. They're nothing like they used to be. I mean, there's they've always had good food, but now they're so readily available and so easy to find. I have a super supplements place where I go get all my stuff, and it's um, it's a lot better tasting than you might think. I know some people are scared off by the green foods, but you gotta get it. You gotta get it in your body. It's not gonna taste any different. You can mask it as much as you want, but it's green food. So, peace.